I gotta get this shit. Yeah. No. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome to a Dayton Dissects of Isbot, where you is a bot. Um, <laughs> we're gonna, let's see what level 2 is like. I'll play through this a little bit, yeah, it's gonna be real good. Oh difficult, oh difficult, oh wow. I can't seem to do it. I'm overcompensating, stop it. Alright, there we go. Up and up. Oh, and down. God damn it! <laughs> I could just leave the review at that. Honestly, that is exactly what this game is like. Just me screaming god damn it a whole lot. Okay. Alright. Yay! And it records your time, as well as your best time, which actually that was my best time if I played this before. I ain't too sure. Ain't none too sure. Oh, collapsing platforms. Boosh. I really like the fact that you can kind of hit the enemies head on in the air and not worry about it too much. If you're standing on the ground, they will get you every time. But if you're in the air, you're kind of in invincible. Which is an interesting addition to the game, I think. Okay. Alright. Alright. Yep. Okay. Nah. Not today. So, I'm rather fond of the controls in this game. It seems a little floaty, but it really does give you a good amount of control. Oh, shit. <laughs> For doing things like that! And that! And, uh, the fun factor also scored pretty high in this game. Dang, oh, pretty impressive, if I do say so myself. I've been having a good old time with this. And, uh, but! Aw. I didn't jump good enough. Well enough? Whatever. Uh, the replayability, uh, because of the gems and the time and whatnot, ugh, got him. <laughs> uh, I gave the replayability a fairly high score as well. Innovation suffers in this game. Um, it looks like a lot of things that I've seen before, but it's extremely polished for what it is. I rather like what's offered. So, uh, innovation, while it, I think I gave it a 2 out of 10, it's still pretty decent, um, for what... For what you're getting. Uh, graphics, I rather like the retro style. Who isn't a fan of like this low res style? Um, I gave the graphics a 7 out of 10. I think it might be a little too low res. Um, like you could use a little more detail in the backgrounds and stuff like that, but it, it's got a really nice style to it regardless. I'm rather enjoying it. We made it! <laughs> uh, the music, as you can tell, is a little short. Um, you're stuck with the same music for each level, uh, or stage, because there's levels within the stage or something. I think that's how it works. <laughs> Sound effects, uh, need some help, just a little bit. I don't feel like, uh, I'm really at all powerful when I'm killing an enemy or breaking stuff. Even that power-up, it was just like a kind of whoop, which is good for retro sound. Fuck! <laughs> whoop! Oh, yeah. Okay, bling! Retro sound is what I'm saying. Um, I mean, that's fine, since it is kind of in a retro style. However, I'd like to see just a little more. Maybe something like, oh, goddamn. <laughs> Do it! Ugh. Maybe something like uh, Contra or something similar. Uh, you know, where the, the sounds are like, and you really feel like you blew shit up. Oh, God, I hate this. There isn't much of a story in this game, um, either fortunately or not so fortunately, depending on what your viewpoint is. I would like to see one, personally. This game reminds me a lot of Portal, and uh, if you know the, p the humor of Portal and how good the story of Portal is, uh, you might know that you might feel like you're really missing out on something. And I think if this game was done... There we go, finally. <laughs> If this game was done with a story a little more like Portal, I think it would be a smash hit success. But, uh, as it is, it's just kind of a, a fun little platformer. It's good for, for the lulls, for the good times. Oh, I can get back up here. Sweet! <laughs> Leap of faith! Dude, are you kidding me? 
The game is uh, rather difficult, though. Um, there's not a lot of hand-holding that's done in this game. They're just like, figure it out! And I'm like, I can't. I don't know. I don't know how to do it. I gotta get this shit. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, level design. Yes. Level design is rather good. Uh, you couldn't have the difficult levels without a decently designed level. And, uh, it doesn't make, it doesn't feel, uh, forced in any way. Some hardcore games are like, yeah, we're just gonna brutalize the player for the fun of it. But this one, you know, there is a solution, and it's just up to you to find it. Which, uh, I'm not doing too great at on this level. But, it's there somewhere! Goddamn solutions! Yay, I skipped the level! Because I beat it before, but I can't seem to remember how to do it. <laughs> so if you enjoy platforming, I highly suggest you check out Isbot. It is uh, a heck of a lot of fun to play, and you're sure to get your money's worth out of it if you do enjoy platformings and trying to beat your own time. It is a little bit expensive at $10, I guess, for an indie game, um, but I might just be spoiled with bundles, so I expect to get everything for, holy shit, <laughs> everything for like a dollar or less. Um, but this game is rather good. If you like the look of it, I hope that you will leave a comment below. I will be drawing a couple names in the next couple days in order to uh, do a little giveaway thing for the channels and for the indie game bundles who uh, helped me get this whole thing together. So obviously I'm failing. I need to go to bed is what I need. So I hope you've enjoyed the review. I'm sorry it was super short. I'm trying to condense these down because apparently people don't want to watch a 15 minute review. Maybe. I don't know. Um, It'll take a little more experimentation. I hope you guys will let me know in the comments. And if you did enjoy, I hope you will like and or subscribe. Until the next time, friends, I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. This has been Isbot. Until the next time, friends. Bye-bye. One, two, three.